health update. <sighs> Number... Yep. <laughs> okay, so... Um, I had a phone conference with my specialist last Thursday or Friday. I can't remember now. Um, she was concerned. She had re-looked at my scan, my original scan, wanted me to go for more scans, so I went for a Doppler scan. Um, just like a CT scan, but you know, they pump you full of dye and whatnot. And it goes deeper and looks and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, um, so I then had a video conference with her yesterday. And turns out, <laughs> what a whirlwind. Turns out that I do not have an aneurysm that is calcium buildup that's not to be worried about too much at the moment, so that's fine. Um, there was no mention of the clots as such as at the moment, so I'm assuming they're still there. Um, haven't gotten any bigger, so that's good. Um, but she did say that the reason behind all my leg pain and not being able to get about, which has been extremely frustrating, extremely frustrating. I've had to rely on so many people, um, which has been really hard because I'm very independent like that. Um, I can't get myself about at the moment. Um, and haven't been able to for a couple of weeks because my ute's been off the road. The injection injectors need to be fixed. I'm not sure what exactly is going on there, but that's taking longer than I want it to be. Mind you, I'm not allowed to drive again um, because I have a 90% blockage in my aorta. Um, at, when, when your aorta comes down, it splits off into two and goes down into your legs um, just past that intersection um, is blockage in my right leg um, so <laughs> that's um, a main concern of theirs at the moment um, because the outcome of that could be that um, if it's not repairable, I could lose my leg. Um, or it could be as simple as a stent. And I'll get back on with life like you wouldn't believe. Or <laughs> they will do a bypass of the aorta. So apparently they use some sort of raincoat material. And they just go from one section that's good over to the next section that's good. And bypass, bypass the blockage. Bonus. Like either one of those two things. <laughs> Not the first. Um, I can't get too far. I've got to stop. My legs hurt. They hurt immensely. From my hip bones at the in my butt all the way down to my toes. My legs feel like they're swollen. They throb, they hurt. Um, my toes go numb. They just throb big time when that happens. And it's almost like I can't, can't put pressure on them, can't put them down. So when I was out and about, it wasn't a great deal of fun. It was, a different environment for sure. Fresh air, great, love it. But can't do that again. <laughs> Yay! Oh my lord. Anyway, so I'm off to a vascular surgeon on Wednesday and see what they say. Um Mentally, this has been extremely hard, extremely hard. Not working, not having money come in, 
as I said, relying on people. I've actually lost two friendships. There's no rhyme or reason behind it, so anyway. Um, yeah, I've had to rely on people big time. Um, it's been two people in particular that have been of great support to me. Um, that's my daughter. She's been absolutely fantastic. Very supportive, very helpful. God love her. Um, <laughs> and a friend of mine, Barb. She's been a pillar of strength. Whether she knows that or not, I don't know. But she has been. And another friend, actually. She's been pretty good, too. <laughs> Thank you. That's Sharon. Thank you. Without you three, oh, gosh, my Lord, Colin. <laughs> my mate, Colin. He's brilliant. He's brilliant. I've been referring to him as my... <laughs> Medical driver. <laughs> God love him. Thank you. Thank you to all of you. I don't know what I would have done without you four. So, yeah, thank you. Your support has been very appreciative. Again, thank you. Um... Not only the two friendships, um, my daughter, as you know, nearly got run over. She got clipped by the car. Um, my son's called his wedding off. I've lost the two friendships. The independence is just not here. I mean, it's an effort to go and put the bloody garbage out for Christ's sakes. been a tough struggle, very tough struggle, and a lot of it I've sat here on my own looking at a computer screen or pots of paint. Yeah, anyway, hopefully now life is up, I'll fix this relatively soon. And in the new year, it'll be a new year. Yeah. Lots of camping. Lots of camping. I want to do lots of camping. I've got a camp trailer sitting out there. <laughs> it's not even six months old. And I can't do anything with it at the moment. Mm. Frustration, Max. <laughs> so, next Wednesday is the day. We'll see you then, I guess. Well, maybe after that, when I get back home and um, can let you know where I'm up to. Hey.